Hello dear students, in my previous video I have discussed how to determine the total cost function when the ma marginal cost function is given. In this video we will see how to determine the total revenue function when the marginal revenue function is given. First we will see how to determine total revenue function when marginal revenue function is given. Now we know that marginal revenue is given by the derivative of total revenue. So from this we have the differential of total revenue is marginal revenue into dx. Now we can integrate both sides. When we integrate both sides, we get total revenue equal to integral marginal revenue dx plus the constant of integration k. Now, for the marginal revenue function, we can find the integral of the marginal revenue function based on the various methods that we have studied in integration. Now, how to find the demand function? Now, we know Total revenue is nothing but price per unit into the number of units produced. So, from this we can find the demand function as total revenue upon x. So, this is how we can find the total revenue function and the demand function when the marginal revenue function is given. Moving on to the exercise question from the CBSE handbook, exercise 3.1, question number 4. If the marginal revenue function of a firm in the production of output is marginal revenue equal to 40 minus 10 x square, where x is the level of output and total revenue is rupees 120 at 3 units of output, find the total revenue function. So, here the marginal revenue function is given and the total revenue obtained for 3 units of output is given. We need to find the total revenue function. So, here it is given marginal revenue equal to 40 minus 10 x square. So, total revenue will be integral of marginal revenue function. So, integral 40 dx is 40x minus 10 integral x square is x cube by 3 plus the constant of integration k. Okay. Now it is given when x is equal to 3, total revenue equal to rupees 120. So this implies 120 is equal to 40 into 3 minus 10 into 3 cube upon 3 plus k. So this is 120 and 120 it will cancel. So, from this we have k is equal to here 3 square is 9 into 10 is 90. k is 90. Therefore, total revenue is equal to 40x minus 10 by 3 x cube plus 90. So, this is the total revenue function. Moving on to the next question, the marginal revenue function for a firm is given by 5x square plus 30x plus 51 upon x plus 3 the whole square. Show that the revenue function is given by 2x by x plus 3 plus 5x. So here the marginal function is given by this expression. We need to show that the revenue function is given by this expression. So, here it is given marginal revenue is equal to 5x square plus 30x plus 51. Upon this x plus 3 the whole square, let me expand it as x square plus 6x plus 9. Here we can see that the degree of the numerator and the denominator is same. It is 2. So, let us perform long division and find the quotient and the remainder. 5x square plus 30x plus 51 upon, I am sorry, divided by 
x square plus 6x plus 9. So when we multiply by 5, we have 5x square plus 5 into 6x 30x plus 9 into 5 45. 5x square plus 30x plus 45. So this when we subtract all these will go and we are left with the remainder 6. So this is equal to 5 plus 6 by x square plus 6x plus 9 or let us write 5 plus 6 by x plus 3 the whole square. So this is the marginal revenue function. Now the total revenue function is the integral of marginal revenue function. So it is integral 5 plus 6 by x plus 3 the whole square dx. So let us integrate this. Integral 5 dx is 5x plus 6 into integral 1 by x plus 3 the whole square will be x plus 3 the whole raised to minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 plus the constant of integration k. So it is 5x minus 6 by x plus 3 plus k. So this is the total revenue function and we need to get rid of this k. Now we know that when the level of output is 0, the total revenue is equal to 0. So from this we can find k. So this implies 0 equal to, so here when we substitute 0 we get 0 minus 6 by 0 plus 3. So it is 6 by 3 plus k. So from here we have k is equal to 2. Therefore total revenue is equal to 5x minus 6 by x plus 3 plus 2. Now let us leave this 5x as it is because we need a 5x here and let us simplify these two alone. So this is equal to 5x the LCM is x plus 3. We have 2x plus 6 minus 6 plus minus 6 plus 2x plus 6. So plus 6 and minus 6 will go. So we have 2x by x plus 3 plus 5x. So this is the total revenue function as it is asked to prove in the question. So we have to prove that the revenue function is given by 2x by x plus 3 plus 5x. So we got total revenue as 2x by x plus 3 plus 5x. The next question in exercise 3.2, find the total revenue function and demand function if the marginal revenue function is given by AB by x plus B the whole square minus C where A, B, C are all constants. So we have given marginal revenue equal to AB upon x plus B the whole square minus C. Now total revenue will be integral AB upon x plus B the whole square minus C into dx. So this when we integrate we have AB into integral dx by x plus B the whole square Integral dx by x plus b the whole square is minus 1 by x plus b minus cx plus the constant of integration k. So this is equal to minus ab upon x plus b minus cx plus k. Now we know when x is equal to 0, total revenue equal to 0. This implies 0 equal to minus AB upon B. Here minus CX will be 0 plus K. 
So from this we get k is equal to a. Therefore total revenue equal to minus a b upon x plus b minus c x plus a. Here again let us take these two expressions alone. So this is equal to minus a b. Let us keep this minus c x as it is plus a x plus a b upon x plus b. So minus a b plus a b will go. We have total revenue as a x upon x plus b minus c x. So this is the total revenue function. Now the demand function we know that total revenue is equal to p into x. So this implies px is equal to ax upon x plus b minus cx which means p is equal to a by x plus b minus c. So this is the total revenue function and this is the demand function. Moving on to the next question. These questions are from exercise 16.2 from CBSE class 12 applied mathematics by Adi Sharma. The first one find the total revenue and demand functions for each of the following marginal revenue function. First one is 1 by x plus 1 minus 3. So marginal revenue function is given total revenue will be integral 1 by x plus 1 minus 3 into dx. So it is log mod x plus 1 minus 3x plus k. Now we know that when x is equal to 0, total revenue equal to 0. So this implies 0 is equal to log 1 minus 0 plus k. Log 1 is 0. Therefore, k is equal to 0. Therefore, total revenue is equal to log of x plus 1 minus 3x. And then the demand function is nothing but it is total revenue upon x. P is equal to total revenue upon x. This implies P is equal to 1 by x log of x plus 1 minus 3. So this is the demand function and this is the total revenue function. The second question margin revenue is equal to 100 minus 9x square. Now total revenue it is integral 100 minus 9x square dx. So this is 100x minus 9x cube by 3 plus k. So total revenue is 100x minus 3x cube plus k. Now we know that when x is equal to 0 total revenue equal to 0. So, from this we get 0 is equal to k. Therefore, total revenue is 100x minus 3x cube. And the demand function is given by p is equal to total revenue upon x. So, from this we have p is equal to 100 minus 3x square. Moving on to the 10th question, given that the marginal revenue function equal to 4 by 2x plus 3 the whole square minus 1, show that the average revenue function is p is equal to 4 by 6x plus 9 minus 1. Here marginal revenue function is given, we need to show that this is the average revenue function. So first let us find total revenue function. Given marginal revenue is 4 upon 2x plus 3 the whole square minus 1. So total revenue will be integral of this. Integral 4 upon 2x plus 3 the whole square minus 1 into dx. Now this when we integrate we get 4 into minus 1 by 2x plus 3 into 
half. Since here the coefficient of x is 2, so we have to divide by 2. Minus x plus the constant of integration k. So this is equal to minus 2 by 2x plus 3 minus x plus k. Now we know that when x is equal to 0, total revenue equal to 0. So this implies 0 equal to minus 2 by 3 plus k. So we have k is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore total revenue is given by minus 2 by 2x plus 3 minus x plus 2 by 3. So here again let us leave this minus x as it is and take these two expressions. So this is equal to 2 by 3 minus 2 by 2x plus 3 minus x. Now let us consider these two alone. So let us take LCM. We have 4x plus 6 minus 6 upon 6x plus 9 minus x. So we have total revenue as 4x upon 6x plus 9 minus x. Now we know the demand function is given by total revenue upon x demand function or the average revenue function both are same. Therefore, p is equal to 4 upon 6x plus 9 minus 1. So this is what we have to prove and we have proved. Next question, a firm has marginal revenue function given by a upon x plus b the whole square minus c where x is the output a, b, c are constants. Show that the demand function is given by x is equal to a by b into p plus c minus b. So we need to show that the demand function it is given as x as a function of p. So first let us find the total revenue and then let us find the demand function. So given marginal revenue is equal to a by x plus b the whole square minus c. So total revenue will be integral a by x plus b the whole square minus c dx. So when we integrate 1 by x plus b the whole square we have x plus b the whole raised to minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1. So it is minus 1 by x plus b minus cx plus the constant of integration k. Now we know that when x is equal to 0 total revenue equal to 0. So this implies 0 is equal to minus a by b plus k or we have k is equal to a by b. Therefore, total revenue function is given by minus a by x plus b minus cx plus a by b. Again, let us, let us leave this as it is and take these two terms. So, total revenue is a by b minus a upon x plus b minus cx. So, let us take LCM and simplify. We have ax plus ab minus ab upon b into x plus b minus cx. I am sorry, plus ab and minus ab will go. So, total revenue is ax upon b into x plus b minus cx. Now, we know that the demand function is given by total revenue upon x. So, from this we have p is equal to a upon b into x plus b minus c. So, let us simplify and write x in terms of p. So, this implies p plus c is equal to a by b into x plus b or we have b into x plus b equal to a by 
p plus c. So this implies x plus b equal to a by b into p plus c or we have x is equal to a by b into p plus c minus b. So this is what we have to prove. We have to show that the demand function is given by x is equal to a by b into p plus c minus p. So we got x is equal to a by b into p plus c minus b. Next question, if the marginal revenue function for output x is given by marginal revenue is equal to 6 upon x plus 2 the whole square plus 5, find the total revenue function and the demand function. So here we have given marginal revenue is equal to 6 by x plus 2 the whole square plus 5. So total revenue is we can integrate this and find the total revenue function. Now integral dx by x plus 2 the whole square will be minus 1 by x plus 2 plus phi integral dx is 5x plus the constant of integration k. Now we know when x is equal to 0, total revenue is equal to 0. So this implies 0 is equal to minus 6 by 2 plus k. So from this we have k is equal to 3. So total revenue function is given by minus 6 by x plus 2 plus 5x plus 3. Again take only these two terms and simplify. So total revenue is 3 minus 6 by x plus 2 plus 5x. So let us take LCM it is 3x plus 6 minus 6 upon x plus 2 plus 5x. Therefore, total revenue is 3x upon x plus 2 plus 5. Now, the demand function is given by total revenue upon x. Therefore, p is equal to 3 by x plus 2. This is 5x plus 5. So, this is the demand function. Next question, a firm's marginal revenue function is given by a by x plus p minus ax by x plus p the whole square plus c. Show that the demand function is given by a by x plus b plus c. So here given marginal revenue is a by x plus b minus ax upon x plus b the whole square plus c. So total revenue we can integrate this and find. So it is integral. Now before finding the integral let us do some simplification. So this is equal to a by x plus b minus a into here I am adding and subtracting b. x plus b minus b upon x plus b the whole square plus c. So this is equal to a by x plus b minus a into x plus b upon x plus b the whole, whole square plus a b upon x plus b the whole square plus c. So 1 x plus b will go. So here we have a by x plus b minus a by x plus b. So these two will cancel. So the marginal revenue function reduces to a b upon x plus b the whole square plus c. Now we can find the total revenue function. So the total revenue function is integral a b upon x plus b the whole square plus c dx. So this when we integrate we get a b into minus 1 by x plus b plus cx plus the constant of integration k. Now we know when x is equal to 0, total revenue equal to 0. So from this we have 0 is equal to minus ab upon b plus k. 
So from this we get K is equal to A. Therefore total revenue is equal to minus AB upon X plus B. Then plus CX plus A. Again let us consider these two terms. So this is equal to A minus AB upon X plus B plus CX. This is AX plus AB minus AB upon X plus B plus CX. So we have total revenue function as AX upon X plus B plus CX. Now from this we can find the demand function as total revenue upon X. So this implies demand function is A upon X plus B plus C. So this is what we have to show and we have proved that P is equal to A upon X plus B plus C. Next question if the marginal revenue function is given by 5 plus 6 by X plus 2 the whole square find the total revenue function. Also find the total revenue earned when the number of units produced is 4. So here marginal revenue is given. We need to find the total revenue function and the revenue earned when the number of units produced is 4. So first let us find the total revenue function. Given marginal revenue is 5 plus 6 by x plus 2 the whole square. Now total revenue is the integral of marginal revenue. So it is 5 plus 6 by x plus 2 the whole square dx. So this when we integrate we get 5x plus 6 into x plus 2 the whole raised to minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1. So it is minus 1 by x plus 2 plus the constant of integration k. So this is total revenue. Now we know when x is 0 total revenue is 0. So this implies 0 equal to here we have 5 into 0 plus 6 into minus 1 by 2. So it is 6 into minus 1 by 2 plus k. So we have k is equal to 0 plus 3 which is 3. So the total revenue function is 5x minus 6 by x plus 2 plus 3. Let us consider these two terms. So we have total revenue is equal to 5x plus minus 6x. When we take LCM x plus 2 we have I am sorry minus 6 then plus 3x plus 6 upon x plus 2. So minus 6 and plus 6 will cancel. So this is equal to 5x plus 3x upon x plus 2. So this is the total revenue function. Now we need to find the total revenue when the number of units produced is 4. So when x is equal to 4, total revenue is equal to 5 into 4 plus 3 into 4 upon 4 plus 2. So it is 20 plus 12 by 6 which is 22. So total revenue is equal to rupees 22. So this is the total revenue function. So they have asked to find total revenue earned when the number of units produced is 4. So when x is 4 we get total revenue as rupees 22. If the marginal revenue function of a commodity is Marginal revenue is equal to 1 by x plus 1 the whole square plus 2. Find the total revenue function. Also find the total revenue when the price is rupees 2.2. So here the marginal revenue function is given. You need to find the total revenue function. And also we have to find the total revenue when the price is rupees 2.2. So we have given... Marginal revenue is 1 by x plus 1 the whole square plus 2. 
So total revenue is integral 1 by x plus 1 the whole square plus 2 dx. So it is minus 1 by x plus 1 plus 2x plus k. Now we know when x is equal to 0, total revenue equal to 0. So this implies 0 is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus k which implies k is equal to 1. Therefore total revenue is minus 1 by x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1. Now let us consider these two terms. So total revenue is 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 plus 2x taking LCM x plus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 1 plus 2x. So from this we have total revenue is equal to x by x plus 1 plus 2x. And now we need to find the total revenue when price is rupees 2.2. Now we know total revenue is equal to Px. So this implies P is equal to 1 by x plus 1 plus 2. When P is equal to 2.220, we have 2.20 is equal to 1 by x plus 1 plus 2 or 1 by x plus 1 equal to 2.20 minus 2. So it is 0 0.20. From this we have x plus 1 is 1 by 0.2. 1 by 0.2 is 5. Therefore x is equal to 5 minus 1 which is 4. So when p is equal to 2.20 x is 4. Now we can find the total revenue. When x is 4, total revenue is equal to 4 upon 4 plus 1 plus 2 into 4. Now 2 into 4 is 8 and 4 by 5 is 0 0.8. So this is 8.8. .8. Therefore total revenue is equal to rupees 8.8. .8. So when when the number of units or the level of output is given, we can directly find the total revenue. When x is given, we can find the total revenue directly. Here the price is given. So when the price is given, let we have to find for this price, what is the output. And using that, we can find the total revenue. I hope this video was useful for you. Similar questions were asked in the sample paper. So it is better to practice these type of questions. Thank you for watching.